the James Webb Telescope has recently declared the clearest picture of Proxima b in history, uncovering shocking insights concerning this possibly livable exoplanet. Join us as we embark on a venture through space to reveal the secrets of Proxima b and find out whether it may be the next Earth. Let's set off into the tremendous region of space where a puzzling planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any ordinary stone, it's Earth's cousin. Proxima b, found a mere 42 light years from us and covered in mystery and miracles. Could it be another Earth with seas and life overflowing on its surface? Yet wait, there's more. Proxima isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star, it has a companion, Proxima Centauri c. Who knows what other secrets the star system holds? Maybe there's another companion that we have yet to discover. The mystery doesn't stop there, Proxima Centauri b receives roughly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this mean there's water on its surface, maybe even life? As we adventure beyond our solar system, we find a completely different universe of exoplanets, planets that circle stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the universe, the possibilities of exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even wander aimlessly, untethered to any star like rebel explorers in space. Among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a truly remarkable and puzzling planet, with a year that lasts only 112 Earth days and a distance from its star multiple times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Almost certainly, one side of the planet is constantly bathed in light while the opposite side remains in endless darkness. Now let's discuss Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system, which includes Rigel Centaurus, otherwise known as Alpha Centauri A and B together, these stars make the closest star system to our solar system. The two stars, Rigel Centaurus and Ptolemon, form the binary known as Alpha Centauri A and B. These G and K-type stars appear as one star in the constellation Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky, with a peak magnitude of 0.27. Proxima Centauri, otherwise known as Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf or M star found 21 light years from the other two stars, multiple times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is indeed the closest star to us. Proxima Centauri means the nearest star of Centaurus in Latin and was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Aiton Innes. Proxima Centauri remains invisible to the naked eye due to its apparent magnitude of 11.13, which is far beyond the maximum human limit of 6.5. However, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth marveling at. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient regarding energy production. They may not produce a great deal of energy, but the internal convection process at their center keeps them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. Yet the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still being debated. For one thing, it's a flare star, which means it has frequent and erratic fluctuations. As a low-mass star, the habitable zone would be closer to it than that of the Sun, projected to be somewhere between 0.23 and 54 cents, but it's not as habitable as it seems. Proxima b probably won't have a stable atmosphere, which is essential for maintaining conditions suitable for liquid water on its surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to perilous space weather, making life nearly impossible. So while Proxima b might seem Earth-like on the surface, it's far from being able to support life. Many remain skeptical, as there are various factors that render it uninhabitable. The quest to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues, and some still hold hope. One instrument that has caught the attention of cosmologists is the James Webb Telescope. After various delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will help us determine if there is life on Proxima b. As with everything in science, things are never fully as clear as they seem. A multitude of changes were required to ensure that the James Webb Telescope produced accurate images. As Abby Curve, a hypothetical physicist at Harvard, explains, if a planet like Proxima can absorb light from its star, it can also emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light, it can take photographs of this light on the surface of the planet and look for patterns that could confirm whether the planet has water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet has an atmosphere that isn't conducive to life? The presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee the presence of life, cautions Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere that is multiple times denser than Earth's, leading to extreme heat that would make it impossible for life to exist. The quest to unravel the mysteries of Proxima b isn't without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are other factors to consider. 
With costs mounting, astronomers are hard-pressed to figure out how to study planets like Proxima b. The risks are great, but the rewards are even greater. The opportunity for a brief look into the unknown, to uncover the secrets of a distant planet that holds the promise of life, is one that any serious researcher will take. Going to Proxima b, supposing speculatively that the exoplanet is hospitable, might we even go there? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it so exciting because it's almost like looking into our cosmic backyard. What's even more interesting is that it's roughly the same size as Earth. Moreover, its location in the habitable zone means it might actually have conditions for life as we know it. Proxima b's proximity also makes it a viable target for our quest for life beyond Earth. With it being just around the corner, well, somewhat, it's a great candidate for interstellar missions. Imagine the chance of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. However, we can't yet go there, but it's definitely on the radar for future missions as technology makes it more accessible. It's one of the most exciting prospects in the field of space exploration. However, it is no easy feat to get there. It would take 75,000 years for spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nevertheless, a plan has been proposed, solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to accelerate a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima along with it. This technology utilizes solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the problem of running out of fuel. With anticipated speeds of 10% to 20% of the speed of light, the journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be reduced to just 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b has reignited humanity's interest in space exploration. It has given us a newfound sense of hope that we are not alone in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a wonder of modern technology that has the ability to take us all the way back to the very beginning of the universe, 13.7 billion years ago. This is the carefully guarded secret, the farther away an object is, the longer it takes for light to travel from it to us. This means that the James Webb Telescope can actually see objects in the universe that are farther away than any other telescope before it. In addition, it has the ability to observe these objects in longer wavelengths of infrared light, which means we can see many more distant stars with greater clarity than ever before. And guess what's even cooler? This incredible technology has the ability to shed light on the possibility of life on other planets like Proxima b. However, as with anything so remarkable, there are some limitations. For instance, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily ensure the presence of life. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick, hot atmosphere that is unsuitable for life. And get this, the James Webb Telescope has the capacity to detect such illumination if it reaches a brightness of only 5% of the planet's day side. Now, 5% may not seem like much, however, when you're dealing with a star that is multiple times dimmer than our own sun, it's actually a significant amount. If Proxima b has an intelligent civilization illuminating its surface, they may be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side of the planet to the night side. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being massive gas giants, while others resemble our own Earth. One type of exoplanet that has caught the attention of space experts is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been dubbed Super Jupiters, dwarfing even the largest planet in our solar system. However, that's not all, there are also hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that orbit incredibly close to their host star. They exist in a scorching world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine being able to observe such a planet up close, with its raging storms and oppressive heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which have sizes similar to Uranus and Neptune. These icy planets orbit at great distances from their host stars and contain thick atmospheres of hydrogen, helium, and methane. And let's not forget about the super-Earths. These rocky exoplanets are larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, and they orbit much closer to their stars than the Earth does. The number of these remarkable super-Earths far outnumbers the number of regularized Earth-like planets. Now, wouldn't it be thrilling to discover whether any of these super-Earths contain life? And that's where it gets really interesting. When it comes to planets outside of our solar system, the variety of exoplanets is mind-boggling. However, there's one question that continues to dominate, do any of these planets have the potential to harbor life? While astronomers are optimistic, they caution that there are many factors to consider. For instance, it's important to take into account a planet's atmosphere, its proximity to its star, and its ability to sustain liquid water on its surface. Could this Earth-like planet hold the key to our future? While the distance between us and Proxima b is nearly insurmountable for now, it serves as a symbol of our desire to explore the great unknown. So what lies ahead for our future on Proxima? 
Only time and technology will tell.